Good afternoon, racers. Uh, today a small change. Uh, first time in the FIA uh, European Truck Championship, I think that is, uh, or Truck Racing Championship uh, game. So this is going to be interesting because I know nothing about truck racing. I know they're huge, I know they're powerful, and I just found that uh, there is no standard cooling brake cooling system, but there is actually they use water to cool brakes. I didn't know about this. This is so exciting. So <clears throat> that is another aspect of uh, of truck racing. When you race, when you brake, the tire temperature, uh, sorry, the brake temperature rises, and there is you don't just cool them by driving through cold air flowing through them. You actually need to use water. So that's quite interesting and amazing. I'll be start. I'll be starting career. Uh, so I'll let you just know. I did uh, a, one quick race and some time trials just to kind of set up the FFB, get used to the game. Um, so yeah, it all is going to be quite quite interesting. Uh, I don't know if my FFB set up properly. There, to be completely honest, uh, because I didn't find like recommended settings from Fanatec or anything like that. So, yeah, this is all all new, and this is all going to be quite interesting. Let's start the career and let's see. So this is some kind of license first. Obtain your truck racing driving license. Okay, that's cool. Maybe that's going to help us learn some of the aspects of uh, the tracing, right? That's what we that's what we want after all. So um, let's go to the license, license introduction. This is where you will take part in driving tests to obtain your truck driving license. Each test will teach you the fundamentals of truck driving, braking, cornering, handling, and brake cooling. That's what I was talking about. That's a separate aspect of truck racing. The test also features penalties. Each test will penalize you if you cut a corner or try to cheat, which will result, result in you failing the test. You will also learn the difference between driving on ETRC trucks, so that's European, and World Series truck. ETRC trucks are more agile compared with the World Series trucks. They also tend to produce oversteer and are likely to spin out if the corner has been underestimated. This is quite interesting. World Series trucks, on the other hand, feel slightly heavier and stiffer. Their cornering isn't as good, but they make up for it in top speed. Complete all of the tests and obtain your truck driving license. So it's possible there will be no day at all. Maybe. I'll just spend all this time doing those licenses. I don't know how long they are. This is my first time with the game. These are the tests that you'll be taking part in. Each test will present a different challenge. You need to complete all of them before you get your license. T-Sport Racing and Tennessee Racing have loaned you their truck to use in the tests. Try to keep them in good shape. Good luck. Okay, so this seems to be very similar to what we know from Gran Turismo. Gold, okay, so silver, and bronze. This is uh, this is the acceleration test one. Uh, that's also quite interesting there. They're talking about the gearing system. Pay attention to the gears. The truck starts in the low gears, which is L, before reaching the high gears H, with 5L being the lowest and 8H being the highest. So it's not kind of standard 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever. It's 5L to 8H. I don't know what it means at all. Again, know nothing about the trucks. Out of time, failed, failed states, out of time, hit a roadblock, receive a penalty. Okay, so let's start. I may need to adjust the volume, so bear with me here for a moment while I'm actually... This test will help you with driving on a straight and overtaking. 
Try to keep the truck relatively stable when going through the roadblocks. Keep the steering smooth so that you don't lose control. Okay, so I'm in the truck. I'm in 6L, I should be in 5L. So I'm assuming that it was way too slow, my start was very very slow because I messed it up. So let's restart, let's try to do it now with the proper gearing. Yes, I want to restart. There's a lot of force feedback at the start. I don't know when to change the gear as well, so it's all new to me. It's 8 to... that's gold, okay. But obviously that was very, very easy, right? Just try to avoid some cunts uh, or obstacles and that's it. Okay, let's continue to the next one. Hopefully all of them will go so smooth as this one. So that's the second one, acceleration number two. You will be going a lot faster this time, so maintaining a stable truck is very important. Go through each roadblock and cross the finish line. Okay, let's do it. It's 11 seconds to do this one. We are at Zolder, really cool truck. Uh, some cool corners with chicane. You'll be going a little faster this time, so you'll need to be a bit more cautious with your steering. Keep it gentle and don't go too fast. Okay, so... Not sure what will be the starting point. Is it also from the stance point first gear? No. So we had 6L, okay. Oh, I hit it. That's one of the things. I need to feel how big that truck is. It's really hard to see from, uh, from the inside. But, I don't know, we'll get there. Those are just the beginning. Why it takes me all the way back? I just want... Should be like a restart button or something to so that it doesn't have to reload it every single time. I can see this being a problem in the more you'll be going a little faster this time, so you'll be in harder tests where you know I may be more prone to failing. Stability wasn't an issue at all, it was almost half a second quicker, uh, it wasn't a problem once we were avoiding the scones or the obstacles, they're not really a cons, right? Number three, a stopping distance. Uh, okay, let's go in, accelerate toward the braking zone and then bring your truck to a complete stop inside it. Make sure all four of your wheels are inside the zone when bringing your truck to a complete stop. Now that's going to be interesting because I don't know how that this truck behaves under braking. How good those brakes are? Do I need to cool them down during this braking? We'll find out. This stopping distance test will give you an idea of what it's like applying brakes to a five-ton vehicle. Understanding your speed and braking at the right moment is key. Five tons. So I would expect it to be even heavier than that. So I don't know how to talk much truck weight. Okay, this is much heavier than I thought. It was I was nowhere close to, to stopping the car in time, so let's restart. Oh. Still, way too late. I think I should go to the third gear on this thing. Even with that, I didn't stop in time. Okay. Was it too early this time? It was too early. Okay, that was much better. Once I kinda found the breaking point, 
And it was barely, because we are barely there, so I think it was as close as it could be. And it was a uh, kind of good time. Okay, so, number four. Instead of reading, I'm just going to listen to what he has to say. Change of track as well. We went straight to Argentina. You'll need to think ahead a bit more with this test. You're going faster. So remember, you'll need to brake earlier. Wow, okay, that was already quite early for me. And here we're going in A, that which is third here. Now that's it. Wow! Okay, I knew it would be way, way too late now. I was too focused on gearing, so we are on our four, which is A, A, A. So No, I guess that was a bit too early. That's too early. <laughs> I don't feel the shots at all. I was too late, or I wasn't braking hard enough. Ah, what I'm doing. Oh, and it was gold as well, but uh, I stepped a bit too late. Well, still in the scones, but if I went uh, closer to, to the left hand side, it would be better time, but still it's a gold, so it doesn't matter that much. Number five, this is a slalom. Okay, slalom can be interesting. Let's see what he has to say to us about this uh, A slalom challenge. is all about the right speed and precision. Keep it simple and keep it controlled. Okay, cool. I think the only problem which we're going to have here is to see the scones from the top of the trunk. Let's see how it goes. This is six, so that's second. Where do I start? On this side. Better. Okay, so that was. Oh, that force feedback is fighting with me. I hit it. Okay, that's something I didn't expect. Why it's going back? That force feedback is fighting with all the force it has. I could let it go, I guess. A slalom is all about. Whoa, it's released. Okay. Oh, this is this is going to be harder than than one thinks. I think seeing where why it's going back. This is so annoying. Every single time it fails, it will go back. Don't they have a restart button or something? Or maybe I'm missing it. I think this is the restart button normally. The square. A slalom is all about the right. Maybe I'll try to press it next time. Gosh. And I touch it. Oh, oh I can. Perfect. So I can restart the button. It doesn't tell you, but it works. Lovely. I'm going to wide, but I don't know how close I am to the skulls. Wow, that was plenty of time to get the gold. Like. Why does this are so easy? Okay, cool. I won't be complaining. Uh, water cooling, finally, we're there. Uh, out of time, brakes to core, out of water, shift a penalty, brakes reach 1000 degrees Celsius or 1832 Fahrenheit, hit a roadblock. Okay. Always keep an eye on the temperature of your brakes, and if they begin to overheat, cool them down as quickly as possible. Cool. Oh, we're back on 
zap kurt. I hate them for putting this coins there, they stress me. That line changes to green sooner than I was not expecting. It looks like the truck can go faster this corner stand. Okay. Uh, 1 minute 25, penalty acquired because hitting that, so time was good, that I hit one of the cones, uh, and I think they penalized me for that. I think one of the things uh, one can do is to switch off the option of cooling the brakes so the automatic can cool, uh, but I went for the full, let's call it realism in the game. Every race you okay. Why did I start with that? So the time was a bit, uh, a second slower or so, but it's still with un within one, uh, within gold. So all good here. Next one, please. So, uh, is it just 15 tests? 15, okay. So, seven. Brake test, another one. Autodromo de Buenos Aires in back to Argentina. I like that there are some Use what you've learned so far and brake at the right time. But retain some of your speed to get a good exit from the corner. Okay. I like the fact that there are some racetracks which are not really, I would call them common in other games. Was good enough. Uh, another gold. Let's move on. So what do we have here? Temperature control. For maximum performance, you need to keep your brake temperature between 250 and 500. Okay. Out of time. Fail to keep brakes with enough temperature. Out of water. Receive penalty. Hit the roadblock. Cool. Makes sense. Makes sense. That sounds crazy. I mean, driving, looking at the road, changing gears. Your brakes uh, will degrade quickly if you allow them to get too the hot. Cool them when they're above 500 degrees to make them last longer. Okay. Let's try. What? Uh, that's that's four. Stop speed.
it's amazing how much power this this trucks have. Uh, they can get out of control so quickly. Okay, that wasn't too hard. You just need to remember one. Just need to remember about pressing the button to cool this brakes down. I'm curious how it's going to look like with the water management in the long distances. Another brake test temperature uh, thing. This is okay. Let's see what they want from me in a moment. Try and take this corner like you did the last time, but this time remember to cool your bricks. Okay, so I forgot to check what are the failing conditions. 6L, so that's the second gear. are so short like give me a whole lap or something it's 21 versus 16 what was it like my gold is so easy to achieve it's, yeah, it's a bit you know i remember the times of gran turismo 1 to 4 when getting a gold was sometimes hours and hours and hours of tries and here first time five second better time it's crazy okay uh, never mind i guess that's what they maybe that game is you know Maybe gold should be achievable by everyone, I don't know. Maintain a steady pace around the apex, drive between the roadblocks and make sure you get a good exit. Slow down when your speed is around 130 km per hour and aim to exit with a speed of around 70. Out of time, receive a penalty, hit a roadblock, hit the con. Okay, cool. So as always, just drive, basically just drive. There's no magic involved here. This is a tight corner, so managing your speed is important. Try to get as close to the apex as possible to ensure a good exit. Ah, oh, those are the American uh, stars. So I think this is the one of the World Series. Trucks, right? the long front. Silver, no, finally something which, uh, which gave me a bit of trouble, right? Something I have to repeat. Uh, good. I was way too wait on brakes now, just completely. So another interesting thing about this game is that even though there are real trucks, they're not that uh, famous maybe. And I don't know many of them, so these corners are unknown. Oh, I'm going to hit that corner, <laughs> that gun, yeah. This uh, this World Series truck, and I assume this is World Series truck, feels completely different than the European one. That's what they were talking about there in the beginning. Okay, this time gold, but that was quite close, right? Just zero three seconds, so. That's what gold should be, you should work for it. 11, so what's that? Chicane, okay. One at Zolder, the last chicane of Zolder. Out of time, receive penalty, hit a roadblock, cool. Chicanes are very tricky. A sensible speed and a good entry are vital. Apply your brakes firmly and allow yourself to glide into the corner. Let's glide into the corner, right? 
Ah, that was too close. I don't feel this, uh, this cones, this markers. Uh, I don't feel how wide the uh, truck is. I'm not sure when to change gears because uh, not a good indication. Like, should I go all the way to red with the truck? It's a diesel, right? So maybe I should change them earlier. That's another thing which requires experience uh, playing the game, driving, and finding out how I perform compared to AI. So, this is accelerate out of corner test, okay? Standard fails uh, condition of them, they're free, I think. A good initial buildup of speed is important here, but a good exit from the corner is more important. Don't lose too much speed when you enter the corner. I like when they tell me to slow down when I reach around 135 kilometers per hour and then, you know, a good exit speed of 60. I never look for speeds when I race in any game. Like I don't care about s my speeds. I care about the feeling of the car and more of which gear I'm on and the refs. Speed? Who cares about speed? That was a gold. Uh, those calls are quite interesting because that's a truck I don't know. So when I close to the corners, I don't know what to expect at all. Um, looking forward to these new trucks, I really do. I've never driven on them on any game. I'm curious if they're in Automobilista because I know that Automobilista has quite a lot of. Uh, Quite a lot of uh, trucks which are not that popular in other games. 13, large turn. Uh, okay, large turn. Ah, it's that one, the first, uh, the second one in, in Zolder. At Zolder. Coca Cola Zero, zero sugar. Product You'll placement. have three turns in quick succession that? in this test. Getting a good exit in the first is the most important thing. Okay, they're talking about speeds. I'm not even going to read about this because I'm, I've never watched my speedometer. I, I don't care. I'm surprised people have time to look at the speedometer and check what speeds they have. Is it even a thing? People do that, really? They, they drive around and try to check on oh, at 68 kilometers per hour. That was good. I don't even have time for that. Focus go to the road and the corners. Hello, how are you? Yeah, it's a gold without watching at the speeds. Like, I don't care. I was very close though, another uh, 0 0.2. But that's the first try, so well, that's good. Hello, Lelo Gamer. Hope you're good today. A nice Saturday, fine weather. Trying a new game today. Drive through penalty. Okay, that's interesting. That's definitely something I need to learn about. Hopefully, I won't have to do it during the race. So, that seems to be like the. Oh no, it's not the whole lap. So, it will be start of the lap, uh, drive through penalty probably, and continue. 147 for gold. Let's see what they, what they ask me to do here. <clears throat> This test will teach you what you need to do if you receive a drive through penalty. Drive down the pit lane. Then after exiting, continue round the track. Okay, they're not talking about the pit limit or anything like that. I'm not even sure if this game has manual or automatic drive uh, through the pit. That's all so the pit entry is straight. Ah, 
Ah, it's auto drive. Okay, so unfortunately there is no manual drive. That's uh, that's a huge, huge uh, disadvantage for the game for me. Love it when it's uh, when you can actually take control over the car in the pit. You know, drive for the pit, go to your pit, stop if you need to. But it is what it is. I'm curious if that pit entry can be abused, the way it can be abused in Gran Turismo where you can just drive in the full possible speed and the AI will slow you down anyway. Like something you cannot do in Project Cars on the old GTR games where you actually have to slow down yourself, hit the pit limiter and so and so on. That's a long wait to be able to drive again. Wow, they even count me down. That's the European one. And it wants to... That's a lot of oversteer there. I didn't feel the trucks. Not, not yet, at least. They're beasts. 143 out of 47. Yeah, that was easy. Very easy. The, the force feedback again was locked at a, at a certain uh, moment and it just pulls the wheel left. Finally, a full lap around Zolder. Uh, 2 minutes 19 seconds expect for, expected for gold to 21 for silver to 24 for bronze. So we have to do everything here, right? So we have to now drive the whole lap at a Good pace to reach the gold. Plus, I have to now take care. Use everything you've learned so far. Yeah, okay, let's start. I have to take care of the brakes as well to put them down. Cool. That would be interesting. I'm not sure why the line I have uh, switched off in the game settings. Realism. No, this is good. 500 to down. We can put them down a little bit now. You know, if not the line, I would be slowing more than it's actually needed. Uh, I kind of cannot wrap my head around it for this truck. I can drive faster in the corners than I would thought it can. Which is super interesting. Oh, I almost spun there. Wow, okay. If the in the in the real race of those trucks, if those drivers, if they actually pull those uh, brakes within the braking zone, well, they braking or kind of after the braking when they exit the corner, like I'm doing here, and they, they pull the brakes in preparation for the next corner. How does it work? I'm curious. Probably should uh, maybe read a little bit about this or watch some. Real life races, those trucks. And I still don't know anything about the water management. Uh, like, how much water do I have and how long does it last? How bad or good my time is going to be? 213, 219 was gold, that was way too easy. Okay, surprisingly easy for the first time lap. Congratulations! You've got a license. Paper, please. Now you're like ready it. to race. Okay, cool. So all licenses done. Oh, no, I'm not doing it again. Now that you've got your license, choose which championship you'd like to take part in. Well, I would like to choose. Oh, here we go. Now I can. Uh, well, definitely I will start with the Europe, and if I'm good enough in Europe, I'll move to World. 
Great choice. The European Truck Racing Championship is a fantastic competition and has a wealth of talent from all over Europe. So we're going with the practice opponents on qualifying opponents on like in real life, right? Race length 100%. I don't know how long those races are in that uh, in those championships. Okay. And A difficulty. Well, that's a good question, right? So we have three beginner intermediate and a professional and i think going with the middle one to start with probably good idea i, I don't want it to be too easy but i don't want it to be ridiculously hard at the same time i'll start intermediate and i will see maybe i can change it later on i don't know we also have assist so difficulty normal damage full overheating brakes on driving line off transmission manual clutch manual well that looks good but the question is okay i don't know what's because this is where i was setting the ai difficulty so what's that difficulty okay full damage overheating on driving line of transmission manual clutch manual yeah that's good that's what i want and that's this that is the good. dashboard where you'll be spending your time in between races the garage is where you'll repair parts and upgrade them to increase performance or make them last longer but you'll first need a full season contract before you can do that the calendar is where you'll view upcoming events and available contract offers in the standings tabs you can view the race results and leaderboards and if you'd like to review your contract go to the team tab Head on over to the calendar to proceed to your first race. Cool, perfect. Uh, so that's locked. Starts cancel contract now. Let's go. To this courier. is the calendar. Here you can view the upcoming race weekends. Choose from one of the available weekends to get your racing career started. Oh, so I can actually don't have to go all of them. I can go straight to do whatever one I want, right? So I know Nurburgring. Le Mans, I'm assuming that's the Bugatti version, not the long Le Mans, but the, the shorter circuit. I know Misano, so at least I know all three tracks here in May. Let's go to Nürburgring to practice. Uh, I'm curious which version of the track. There are three, right? There is the Mullenbach. Okay, I know I can skip, but are they going to tell me anything or just presentation? This is just a presentation. So let's skip. Start tuning. Oh, that's that's too much. <laughs> I don't know. Rules. Okay. Two races. Okay. Oh, there are the weekend is actually two day for two full days of racing, so four races per weekend. Okay. Qualifying and the Super Fall for race 1 and 3. Race 2 will determine by the results of race 1 and the same for race 4 and race 3. The first 8 trucks at the end of race 1 and 3 will be placed in reverse order on the starting grid for race 2 and 4. Cool. Uh, and how many laps? I don't still don't know. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm okay. I'm earning money here in the game. Speeding penalties. If a driver is caught driving over the 160 limit, they will receive. The what? These trucks have a limit of 160 kilometers per hour. So why it's not automatically? Car that's 160 instead of I have to think about it. Okay, speeding for longer than 2.75 seconds results in the driver receiving 10 seconds, 20, 30. Wow, okay. Why did they put a speed limit for a truck in a racing on a race truck? Anyway, let's start the practice. I don't even want to know why it's out to drive to start with. Okay, 
Okay, so now the settings apply and the driving line is off. I was there just at... Ah, the hell! Let's put down the brakes. So many things to remember about uh, these trucks. And they actually are ready to spawn. I mean, to spin, sorry. It's so much different than driving a sports car or a truck. So cool. Uh, what version track is it? Left or right? Right, okay.
get her rewards on the club in case as long as I didn't see that goes in the center. Okay, so that's how them towards our target, that's what lap 4. So I'm still not sure if I'm going to it correctly, right? I don't like that the virtual wheel doesn't burn as much as my wheel. My uh, wipers uh, button is right next to my uh, water pump button and unfortunately I'm pressing it by accident sometimes and to correct it a little bit I had some oversteer
Another thing, I'm curious there is a rain in this game. Like I can switch and switch compass uh, wiper, so maybe there is a rain. That would be cool dynamic weather in a game like that. Driving the trucks and water is to be quite, quite interesting. Okay, uh, oh, that's the overall time, doesn't tell me, yeah, doesn't tell me, wait, doesn't tell me best time, uh, so what, if I, let's do different, let's go to the B and see what happens then. So 
I don't want to do more practice. I don't see why would I do it. Is he driving me out? No, stop. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, no, no options. Do I need to retire the practice? Are you sure you want to retire from the practice? Yes, please. Thank you. So, marching one of the retires from the practice. Okay. Confirm. Obviously, I haven't modified anything in the experience setup. What is this? Ah, okay, that's what it is. So there's a settings. I thought it's something related to the car setup. So if I now go to what does it mean that I can't race anymore? Like I thought I retired from the practice, not from the whole weekend, right? I don't understand, I really don't. This is a practice, all of them. There is no... Am I doing something wrong here? Yeah, whatever. You know what, that doesn't make sense. I'm sure there's something going wrong. Let's go back. Um, uh, let's cancel the contract. I cannot. Maybe because I don't have one. These are the standings for the Drivers' Championship. Check these regularly to see how you're doing. Ah, so okay, so what? Misano is the first race. So that Nürburgring was just practice. That was just practice. And this is a race weekend. Okay, okay, I understand. So that was just a practice. That was not a race weekend. This was just to go there, do a few laps, see how it feels. The same will be at Le Mans. And only when we move to Misano, we will be going through the whole weekend. So I don't think there is any point doing that Le Mans practice. Like, yeah, what's the point? And the next time I'll be Coming back to that game, I'll be going straight to the Misano race weekend. And yeah, two days of action, right? So for today, uh, I did the licenses. I did some practice on the track. And I think uh, that'd be enough of uh, FIA European track racing simulator or track racing championship game pretty cool it feels quite good it you know it's not a full-fledged sim i believe but it's not just arcade too i think i'll you know put it somewhere in the simcade area range it feels quite well it's pretty cool to drive uh, there are some really nice aspects to the game i'll definitely be coming back to it and i'll definitely be doing uh, the career in that game and I'll definitely be streaming it and then putting it in the on the YouTube. So I would like to thank you for watching, and uh, I see you in a different game at a different time, probably pretty soon. Thanks for watching and see you later.